Hi guys, I'm Clara and today I'm back with something that I picked up on Black Friday. Um, it is from Lancome and if you happen to catch my video, <laughs> I was filming a little bit like right outside the store because I was so excited about the deal. Um, but now I'm gonna bring you some more in-depth review and swatches and things like that. If you're still interested, the product is still available. It is the Lancome Le Parisien um, gift set for the holidays and they do bring this out apparently every year in a warm and a cool tone set. The set comes with this giant case and it has a lot of things in it. Every time I pull these out to do swatches or filming, uh, I'm surprised again at how much stuff they gave us in this kit. It is one of these purchase with purchase deals but you can buy any priced item from Lancome to qualify for this and this is itself I believe $60 um, so it's a really good deal for everything that you get in here. Inside the case comes with this really nice quality makeup bag. I was actually surprised. I was expecting it to be more like plasticky, but it's a really nice suede sort of feel and it has um, obviously this very beautiful blush pink color with these tiny little gold dots on it. It's very cute. Onto the actual products, they do include a full size of their eye makeup remover, which on its own is I believe like $30. So that's like half the value of the set right there. And these are really good makeup removers. I highly encourage you to pick them up in some sort of set or a free gift because they always um, come with this particular one and so if you can get it with some other stuff then you know why just buy it on its own. As for the actual color of this set, I did pick it up in the cool tone. The warm toned eyeshadows were so beautiful, like lovely golden colors. I was really tempted by them but I figured I had Quite a few of those colors already that were dupes and I was just really interested in the kind of more berry shades in this palette. After swatching them, this particular shade here does kind of remind me of um, the Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay which is so good but it does have also a lot of neutral shades in this palette which uh, they're not really like cool tone browns like they say for the most part they're pretty neutral and this color right here is incredibly beautiful and I will show you the swatches. It's this beautiful kind of rosy copper color with a golden shimmer in it and all the shimmer shades do swatch really incredibly beautifully. Um, the mattes are just okay. Uh, they blend a little bit better on the eye but they're not like super impressive mattes but you know like for $60 and getting all this stuff in there I'm not too disappointed. Uh, the worst shade in terms of swatching is this blue one but it does have quite a bit of pigment, it's just a little bit uneven, but I do think that any of the shades in this palette can be built up pretty beautifully. This shade here is a really nice kind of cream shade. It does have a slight shimmer in it, um, but it is like the less intense cousin of this shade down here, which I actually do prefer. Um, this shade here is again very beautiful shimmer shade. And then next to it we have the kind of cool tone light brown that's a really good crease shade. This one is matte and next to that a slightly warmer matte brown shade. Again we have this beautiful matte cobalt blue shade. Um, it does have quite a bit of pigment but you just have to work a little to blend this one out. This one is a very beautiful intense bright like inner corner highlight color. Uh, this one is a shimmer shade. Next to it is another kind of brown shimmer shade. Um, unlike this one, it doesn't have a gold or a rosy tint to it. It's a little bit cooler. It's kind of a taupe color. This one is another beautiful shimmer shade. It is a red base, kind of like cranberry. It has like a, a very pink sheen to it. Next to it, we have a very dark plummy color. And um, this one does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it kind of swatches more similarly to the matte shades. And lastly, we have this black shade with silver uh, glitter in it. It's very beautiful as well. It's very intense kind of smoky look if you use this color. I was just a little bit surprised that this palette doesn't have a mirror in it. Um, I guess I shouldn't be asking for too much for the price, but just considering that their free gift palettes and everything come with a mirror, I was just a little surprised. Just something to mention. One of the reasons that I actually chose the cool set rather than the warm set was because I really loved the other things that came with it, um, even more than the eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, when I got this home and played with it a little bit, I was slightly disappointed in the blush. So if you have been following me at all, you know that I love purple blushes so much. 
Um, and this one really just like drew me to it because it's a very purpley kind of rose shade. It doesn't have a lot of pigment though. It's very hard to build up. And I noticed that um, with just a few hours of wear, it had pretty much disappeared. So I was a little bit bummed about that. Um, this is a full size product that you can actually buy individually from Lancome. So it's the same quality and everything. I think it's really cool that they do include a real like full size palette from their line as well. Um, I do really like this highlight shade. I kind of prefer the highlight shade in the warm tone one because I did get to play with it, uh, but they're both uh, cream highlights. This one is definitely cooler, obviously it's the cool palette. The other one had kind of like a rose gold um, sort of appearance to it. This one is a like very pale pink with a like silvery frost look to it. I was really impressed with this, however. It's a cream highlight, but it doesn't really like melt your makeup off underneath it when you're sort of tapping it on. Um, and also at the end of the day, even though the blush was like basically gone, you could still tell that the highlight was on there. So I was really happy with that. Would I purchase the full size version of this by itself? No, I don't think so. The blush was just a little bit disappointing to me. I should mention that it does come with, um, this is the only sample size product in the set. The rest are full size. This is the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. It's like a serum that you're supposed to use before your toner and your moisturizer. Um, I haven't actually like tried this out yet. I'm very reluctant to try new skincare. I do have very sensitive skin, and so when I introduce any new kind of skincare products, my skin usually goes crazy, so I just am reluctant to try these out, but you know, if you like receiving samples of skincare, I've heard really good things about Lancome line, so it's just something for you if you're interested. Next up, we have a couple of brushes in the set. Um, I was pretty glad that they included a couple of these, um, you know, just because I think that this is such a good set even to give as a gift to somebody who's sort of new to makeup or doesn't have a lot in their collection because it's a really good value and it includes so many things to try. So I'm really glad that it does come with this eyeshadow brush. It's a double-ended brush and it has sort of like this flat shader end. It's a like dual fiber hair. It's a little bit stiff. It's not really as soft as some of the other ones that I have, but you know, the quality is okay. And it does have a liner side, which again is a little bit stiff, but they work, they work okay. I was more pleased with their blush brush. It's very, very soft. It picks up product a little bit better than the other brush. Um, it's not the best blush brush that I have because I'm kind of obsessed with blush, so I do have a couple nicer brushes, but this one is definitely a really good brush. Um, I do like it a lot and I feel like I will use this one. Next you have this very beautiful black coal eyeliner pencil. It is a full size and the color is so nice and rich and dark and it's very creamy. I'm very happy with the color and I want to find a way to make this pencil work. I think this would probably be better on the days when you don't want to do a wing though because it doesn't really give you that much definition. It was very hard for me to draw on the tail, not so much the rest of the liner, but the tail was a little bit difficult to control. Um, by the end of the day, I did notice that there was a little bit of black just kind of like migrating into the corners underneath my eye. so. I have to figure out if there's a way to make this pencil work, but I did like the smoothness and I liked the quality. Um, there was a lot of pigment in it, which I feel like is really nice. I just think I'd have to play around with this a little bit more. Is it the best eyeliner in the world? Eh, but if you really like coal eyeliners, I do think that you will enjoy this one. Next we have two full-size lash products, which are pretty exciting. Um, I have the Sills Booster. This is kind of like a mascara primer. It's supposed to really help lengthen your lashes. And I was really excited. This is another reason why I decided to pick up the cool set instead of the warm. Um, it comes with the Hypnos Drama Mascara, which if you have been on YouTube for any period of time, I feel like you will have probably heard that mascara hyped up quite a bit. Um, so I was really excited to try this. The one in the other um, like warm set, I believe, was the Definisils Mascara. And I did go in store and get like a free gift with Lancome purchase of $75 or more, I believe. And that one came with a mini version of the Definisils Mascara. So I didn't really want to duplicate the stuff that I already had in this. Lastly, the set comes with some really great lip products. I think the thing that really pushed me to get this set this year 
um, because I did purchase the Estee Lauder set last year and it was like this whole fiasco. Um, I ordered it online and then they took like days and days to fulfill my order and by the time it shipped they ended up just shipping me the samples because they were out of the actual product i like drove really far to find a store that had the product and i ended up buying one that somebody else had actually bought and returned because it was just out of stock everywhere um, and then when I got it home, I was really disappointed. The eyeshadows didn't like pick up out of the pan. It was just really poor quality of pretty much everything, um, except for the eye makeup remover and the mascara was okay. Um, but after that, I didn't really want to try the sets. And then I heard that Lancome set was a little bit better. Um, definitely the eyeshadows are a lot larger. And so I was like, okay. I'll give it a try and the thing that sort of pushed me over the edge is I do have a um, very nice Lancome lipstick that I just adore and so I do think that their lip products are very very nice. Um, I was really really happy with the ones I picked up in this especially because I did get another two full-size lipsticks um, with like my free gift with purchase and they're beautiful colors you guys um, one I'm just gonna mention really quickly because I did swatch them for you one is called corset and that's kind of like a corally I believe it's a matte shade and then the other one is called fashion icon which looks very similar to one that you get in this um, in this set called wine party but it does have like a more metallic texture in it so I will swatch those for you guys as well but onto the lip products that are actually in this set we have the juicy tube in tickled pink and this is a really beautiful very pigmented gloss it's kind of a mauve -y color that I feel like would flatter anybody's lips it does taste very strongly of like watermelon bubblegum like hubba bubba so if you really like enjoy that flavor, I feel like that would be a really good thing. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, I feel like I will use it because it was a really nice kind of thick gloss, but I think it'll take me a little while to get over the taste of that. It comes with this beautiful matte lipstick in Seal the Deal. I was worried this would be too light for me because I always have a little bit of a problem finding a good nude lipstick. It was just a little bit light. At first I was a little surprised, but after I wore it for like maybe 10 minutes, I was like, oh, like this is a really good color. I can get behind this. Uh, definitely really beautiful. The texture is very nice. It's a matte lipstick, but it's not gonna make your lips like crumbly. It's not like a liquid lipstick formula. It's gonna dry it out. It just has a matte finish, so there's no sheen to the lipstick, but very, very beautiful color. And they also include Wine Party, which is a cream lipstick, and this color is just right up my alley. Um, it's a very beautiful berry shade for the fall. I really like this color as well. And lastly, I will just show you the item that I picked up to qualify for this purchase. I actually heard about this line through Tati. She mentioned one of them, but I honestly, I wasn't sure exactly which shade she was talking about at the time. So I just kind of went online and looked up swatches and, and tried to find one that I liked. This is, I believe, a limited edition kind of holiday item from them. Um, it is the Petite Tresor eyeshadow. So it's a single eyeshadow. It is $27, which Somehow at the time I was like, oh, I only have to pay $27 to qualify for this purchase. And then like today I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, $27 for an eyeshadow, like just one eyeshadow. But <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, guys. It comes with this little sponge applicator, which let's be honest, like we usually don't use. It does come with a mirror um, and the eyeshadow itself is very beautiful. I got the shade Brune Glacé. This is a very beautiful kind of rosy shade. Lisa Eldridge describes it as like an antique kind of dusty rose color. 
and I think that that's, that's pretty pretty accurate. It had a beautiful pattern, but it is a very soft shadow, so it was kind of destroyed after just a couple of uses, but you know, the quality is really good. Um, I have swatched it next to some of the eyeshadows that come in this collection, and definitely you can see that the quality is better than most of the eyeshadows in there except for a couple of the like shimmer shades which are very beautiful it is a shimmer shade i have a lot of kind of like rosy golden colors in my collection but i just love them so much i'm always on the hunt for more and this one definitely gets my stamp of approval and that is it for the lancome collection i do urge you to check it out if you can go and swatch it in store and see which one you think you'd like better um, the warm or the cool and again i think it would make an excellent gift for anyone who's just getting started in makeup because of the variety and everything and if you go in store they usually have free gifts with purchase around this time of year um, and they had a beautiful set when I went in for Black Friday so definitely definitely go check that out I highly recommend this set and I hope that you will love it as much as I do thanks for stopping by guys and I'll talk to you very soon bye